everybody! It's me again! Um, I'm gonna do a little special vlog today because it is my mother's birthday! So this one's just gonna be kind of more of like a how I do art process, so it's gonna be kind of choppy. Um, I'm not gonna film the entire process, just because my process is boring. Um, not boring, but just it's long and complicated, so I'm gonna explain some bits, fast forward through most of it, you'll get to see some of my setup, um, but uh, I'm gonna do a quick drawing, quick, I'm gonna do a drawing, then I'm going to use my light table, which is behind this curtain, uh, to transfer it onto watercolor paper and then watercolor it, and that will be my mother's Mother's Day present, because that totally counts as a present. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, here it goes. done, what I do is I transfer over to my light table, which is on, I'll turn it off real quick, that changed my lights. Um, so basically what I do is I have this giant light table that I got because a friend of mine was working for a theater company and they have gone to some kind of architecture firm that was going out of business or I don't know what the whole deal was. Um, and so she called me, is like, hey, they've got this art table, I know you've wanted one for a while, it's free, do you want me to bring it by? And I'm like, yes, please. So I brought it in, and it's basically just this big old wood frame, um, and it's got the hanging lights underneath, those are the big long bulbs that I can't remember the name of at the moment, um, and then I plug it in that way, which is very safe. I don't keep it plugged in when I'm not using it, um, but so basically... I've taken the sketch, this is the sketchbook that I did it in, um, and I tape it down so that the base paper doesn't move. I've got the sketch underneath, some 180 pound watercolor paper by Strathmore, um, but I also, I tape one edge down because sometimes I'll get to a detail that's just a little bit hard to see, and then I'll lift it up, check out what the detail is actually supposed to be, and then transfer it that way. Um, this is just some brushes and stuff. So I'm gonna set that up real quick, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit, and then try to get it set up so that you can see. Let me show you what it looks like with the light on. So I'm gonna freak out the camera. I'll adjust. Oh, okay, you're okay. Um, so yeah, so one second. That's my room. Don't look at it, it's a mess. Alright, so basically, you push down on the paper a little bit so that you can kind of see these details in here, and then you just start tracing. So it's kind of like turning regular paper into tracing paper and it's really useful if I don't want to have, you know, pencil sketch lines on my paper. And I usually do this if I'm just going to do like wash or watercolor or anything that needs to be transferred. Um, if I'm just going to like do ink or marker, I usually just draw straight on the paper. But this kind of keeps it nice and clean and allows me to kind of make some, some changes as I need to. 